see? This is this is totally devastating. See, we can walk about freely. There is not even a single drop of water. It's such a pity. It's such a pity. Today we are working as a team and then uh, before I explore and before I, I introduce today's video uh, I am Roiso, uh, currently holding the post of the president in Chinjurai and then today I am very much grieved, I am very much saddened because of the condition which our people, my people are facing. We, our population consists of more or less 6,000, comprising of Kulen Kunao city. But the sad thing is, uh, this is monsoon season, there is supposed to be rain, but there is no rain. All the farmers are struggling, all the villagers are struggling. We are going to find out how much the farmers are grieving, or how much the farmers are struggling. And then we are going to explore the conditions of the farmers. And you can judge by yourself whether it is a drought or whether it is a good season. Let us go and find out more about all the things. Let us go. So the farmers are looking up to the cattle and buffaloes, waiting for the rain to come. Let us talk to them. Yeah, looking after the buffaloes, waiting for the rain. Since there is no rain. Huh? Since there is no water. Let's talk to a farmer out here. Uh, 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 you see? Everything is dying. Mm. See, as uh, she's expressions, she, uh, the family have once uh, planted even the single uh, bunch of uh, uh, body plant. How will they survive? See? This is, this is totally devastating. You look, you all these body saplings. It's like a weed now. They are not going to survive anymore. This is the first time that is happening in our village. It's really a drought and it's a sad story for people. You being the youth secretary, what do you feel about your people right now? Seeing the condition of these saplings, seeing the condition of the villagers, seeing the condition of how the streams are empty, seeing the condition how day by day the sun is becoming hotter rather than giving rain. I feel very much tense and grief indeed. And looking at the people, I'm re really worried. Especially because I'm worried how they'll survive next year. Especially our village. We are 95% farmers. So I'm very much worried about them. And not only that, even my family conditions, we haven't planted even one single field because there is not rain this year. And still we are hoping that rain will come. We are in a field and we are going to show you the condition, the situation of our villages. We can see out here, if you see all this mud, we have dug time and again. This is the second time we have dug, they are all waiting for the rain to come. It's so hard, as hard as stone. And then if you uh, look towards all this plot of uh, land, I'm going to show you all this, all this surrounding. This is called Rukula. Right now we are in Rukula and Kankupala. This is just one of it. We are going to explore, we are going to show you the condition. We are going to show how the people are struggling out here. This is another part of the field. If you see towards my right, 
the plot of land yeah, yeah, yeah. extends till there. And if you see towards my left, you will see the plot of land extending up to there. All these acres of land farmers are going to abandon. Yeah. All these paddy fields where they have invested so much of their labor, their strength, it's going to be in vain because there is not even a single drop of water rather than wet. You see, it's so dusty. This is not supposed to be. It is supposed to be wet, but it is so dusty. You see, how are the farmers going to survive? So our concern as youth, our concern as a citizen of our village is that we would like to appeal to all the authorities out there to give us a helping hand or else the villagers are really in need of your help. This is Kushapala. It's so vast. But there is not even a single drop of water. If it happens to rain in the mountainous region, spontaneously, simultaneously, the water will flow through and then they can, take, they can continue the irrigation. But it is really devastating. It's heartbreaking to see the condition. They have dry up. Can we zoom? You can see right, it's all dry up. It covers, it goes beyond. Can focus. Yeah, see? Everything is dry. When the stream is empty, how do you expect the farmers to get water? The waters are stagnant, they are not overflowing. This is called Kajantra. Usually there is abundant flow of water every year. But this year because of the scorching heat, we are not getting a single drop of rain. That is why the stream has to be dried and it has been dried fully. So how could people will manage with this water? This is how they try to channelize water. This is how they try to get water. But it is all in vain. I don't know how the farmers are going to survive. See, all these things are cracking. What do you think? See? See, we can walk about freely. There is not even a single drop of water. It's such a pity. It's such a pity. What can we do for the people? All those of you who are watching out there. We are not begging you, but we are just bringing out our concern to all the viewers out there. If we can make our cry reach to government, and if the government can do something for our people, it's really going to be a, a great help when the farmers have nothing. Even the cattle, they have nothing to eat. See all these cattle, all these cows? They have a barely minimum to eat. What will they eat from this grass? That's how they are starving. Not only human beings are starving, but even the cows are starving out here. Once again, now we are here to show you how the condition is. It is very, very disheartening. This huge acre of land people are unable to cultivate because there is no water. Mm-hmm.